Um, I decided that this channel needs a mascot and what stranger and more oddball thing gummy, such as a hippo that's also a unicorn, uni unipo, hippocorn, pick one. Uh, now I was given this because I lost a little stuffed skunk that my father had made me uh, in the fire in January. So sometimes in moments of deep distress or just stress in general, you might want something to hold on to. So uh, I'm gonna eventually make a poll, name my Unipo, because I have no idea what to name it. The skunk's name was Flower, because duh. Um, so this channel now has a unicorn because it's mixed up, it's insane, and sometimes it feels, I don't know. So anyway, uh, yeah, you sit there. Now, anyway, I'm gonna talk to you about sometimes the signs of a seizure. Some people will feel a warning signal coming on. Some people won't. Uh, so some basic warning signals, such as headaches. It feels like Uncle Screwtape has learned how to play the bongos and is just singing Babalu inside your head. Ooh, boy. And he's just learning how to play the bongos, so it's not great. Um, you may have visual disturbances. You may have auditory disturbances or the noises around you just are insane. You're not loving this. Uh, everything sounds really weird or it might be coming to you through a tunnel, kind of. Um, you might have, your emotions might go, I'm not acting right. I'm not sounding right. What's going on with me? Um, these might also just be the signs of a migraine. So, you know, you might kind of pick at yourself. You might be more forgetful than usual. You're just not feeling the most awesome that you've ever felt. And everything is just completely cock-a-poop. Now, what can you do? Well, if you're feeling the warning signs coming on, I suggest that you lay down, take a break, say, you know, something like, oh, listen, I, I have something I gotta get done. And you can go and you can do, 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 go walk and go do your thing. It's okay. So one, rest. Two, Get as comfortable as possible. Um, anything that could get tangled up, get rid of it. So, you know, if you wear a lot of big necklaces uh, or whatever, make sure that those are off. Um, anything that you could accidentally hurt yourself with. Uh, I would probably suggest that you stay away from anything you could bonk your head on. Um, Stay away from, say, anything electric, anything wet. Uh, having had a seizure in the tub, I would definitely say if you're starting to feel kind of wonky because sometimes the hot water can mess with your blood pressure, get out. <laughs> Don't, because I can tell you that while I didn't actually really pick up on anything, except for the fact that I had a really bad headache beforehand and decided to go and see if hot water would help my headache, uh, having a seizure in the tub isn't great. So avoid water <laughs> for that period of time. Anything that, you know, try drowning is a thing. So, and also it's a, if you breathe it in, you could actually get yourself really, you know, you're gonna be feeling it. Uh, be very, very wary if you are having active seizures. Um, so stay away from water. Have a comfortable place to sleep, maybe, or just rest in general. Because so many people after a seizure are just dead to the world. They're exhausted because, duh, you just had a lightning storm in your own brain. So 
one, give yourself a chance to just recline, to rest, go do that kind of stuff. Stay away from water. Uh, try to avoid loose, soft furnishings for the time being. Um, stay away from water. Stay away from anything that you might... Uh, if you're holding a fork, for example, anything hot, put that down. Um, just in general, um, make sure that you're as comfortable as possible. You will hurt afterwards. It's going to be a horrible, horrible thing. You're going to feel like you were pulled apart and then clumsily reassembled. Um, your head may pound for the next week. Um, you know, be very, very careful. Talk with your doctor about preferred pain methods. Um, definitely talk to them about your medications and whether you've had too much or too little, or indeed if you're sensitive to this medication. I was sensitive to everything from the Barbitals all the way down to Keppra, which I call Hulk in a Bottle, because honestly at that point all you really need are the purple shorts sold separately, of course. What's my secret? I'm always angry. And all the way down, um, if you have any sort of discomfort with the medication, talk to them ahead of time because that can also cause seizures. On every single seizure medication I've been on, there's been a note may cause seizures, which is like, okay, but I'm here for the control. What? What the actual heck? But talk with them. Get all the tests done that you can. Make sure that you're eating as healthfully as possible. Um, you might not do well with, say, an all meat and protein diet. That is fine. That is completely what works for one person will not work for everyone. Big, big rule. Just because it worked for your great aunt Thelma doesn't mean that it will work for you because we are all individuals. We don't need someone else. And our body chemistry is always going to differ. So in conclusion, if you're feeling kind of wonky, take a break. It is okay. In fact, it is better for you to take a rest Avoid any loose or tight-fitting items or giant necklaces or anything that you could accidentally strangle yourself with. You may find that you are behaving in a way where it seems like you are extremely angry or frustrated and not acting like yourself. People that know you and love you are not going to judge you on this one. They're not going to be like, oh, hey, you lost your temper and... Um, yeah, you were just really, really angry instead of, I don't know, focusing on things like something isn't right here. It is, it is not, I don't even know what number we're up to. It is not a personal failing. You are not a bad person. Remember that because there are some people who are terrible and will be like, oh, well, I thought you were a nice person, but I have, I have one thing to say to you and it's filthy. Okay. And so stay away from those people. Those people are not your friends. Um, and also everyone has a breaking point and it's okay especially if you have been tolerating certain things for way too long. And finally you say, uh, no, I am not tolerating this anymore. And sometimes you might hold back and then when you're not feeling good, you might finally say, okay, I've had enough and it is okay. So, what, oh, uh, hmm, caregivers, hi. 
caregivers, friends, family, lovers, whoever, a person acting differently because they're not feeling good is not a personal fault. Okay? It's not bad. It's not embarrassing. People, hello, it's an illness. And it's not devils, although it may feel like that. Like with the example of the pre ictal headache or headaches in general, if you have chronic headache conditions, feeling a bit like Uncle Screwtape from the Screwtape Letters is inside your brain and is learning how to play the bongos. And in conclusion, uh, the Unipo and I say goodbye and we love you. Bye bye.